All right. Hey, y'all. So this is part of a series I'm going to be doing on the top five schools in elementary, middle, and high school level here in the Charlotte area. So a few things to be aware of before we jump right in. Uh, first is that if you go online and you look at different resources, you are going to find different answers depending on where you look, including if you look at the state's rankings of schools. For these purposes, I am using greatschools.org. Feel free to go check them out. Uh, the reason is they do have a ton of information, and it's probably the one that my clients reference to me the most is where they're actually doing their research. So this is not uh, me advocating for any specific school, um, but please do your own research. Uh, number two, uh, this is going to be public schools. I will probably do another one in the future with uh, private schools in our area. And lastly, please be aware that the Charlotte area, our county and cities are uh, unified school district, Charlotte Mecklenburg schools. So if you are looking in the Matthews, Mint Hill, Huntersville cities, it's still part of the CMS school district. So who am I? Uh, my name is John Patrick. I'm a full-time realtor here in the Charlotte, North Carolina area, and I have lived here for over 40 years, and I absolutely love it, and I love introducing people from all across the nation to our fantastic area and helping them put down roots here in Charlotte. So if I can help you, I encourage you, give me a call right now at the number below. Text me, shoot me an email, send up some smoke signals. I don't care, but reach out to me introduce yourself. Let's have a quick conversation and see how I can be of service for you. Also, be sure to click the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and get updates on any of my new content. All right, so let's jump right in to the top five high schools here in the Charlotte area as rated by greatschools.org. And number one on our list is the Cato Middle College High School. So this is only grades 11 through 12. And as you can see here on the map, it's kind of located in the upper northeast section of Charlotte, what we would generally call the university area. It's up close to UNC Charlotte. Pretty good connectivity. It's a pretty short drive over to I-485, I-85. If you're looking to get um, around to the airport, you're on the opposite side of the city, but it's pretty pretty easy to get onto an interstate and drive around to the other side. You just got to make the drive. Also, pretty good if you go a little bit outside of the city, you've got one of our largest um, shopping centers up there, and if you're a NASCAR fan, the uh, Speedway is actually just right down the road from you. You know, a few miles, it's not like it's next door or anything else. But nearby, you, there's a lot of, I would describe, pretty affordable housing in and around it because you are close to the university. There's a lot of commercial development that's built up to kind of serve the university. So there's a ton of restaurants and things like that around it. Specifically, if you look at the campus right here, it's right next to the Reedy Creek Nature Preserve, one of the largest ones in our area, I believe. It's a pretty desirable area to live in and still pretty affordable as well. All right, so second up on our list, also with a perfect 10 out of 10 rating, is the Harper Middle College High School, which only, again, covers grades 11 and 12. And it's almost on the opposite side of town from Cato that we just talked about. This is down in what we would call Pineville. This is another city. Um, really good connectivity, especially if you want to get to 485 to South Boulevard, which goes straight uptown to I-77, which goes north and south through the city. You're only I'm going to guess 15 minutes maybe away from the airport from right there, maybe a little bit more. Um, but you've really got great connectivity. Now, Pineville is largely a commercial area. We've got a great shopping center down there, lots of development on the roads down there. But they're surrounded by desirable communities. As you can see here on this aerial, you see Starmont, you see Barclays, you see Carmel Country Club, Quail Hollow. These are really desirable areas in and around Charlotte. So depending on your price point, there's a lot of options down in the Pineville area. All right, next up, and a little close to my heart personally, because it's right around the corner from me, and my wife went to school here, and that is 
Providence High School. Now this is a true grades 9 through 12 high school. Uh, back in the day when it was built, it was way out at the edge of town. Uh, I think the road dead ended right there or something like that. Uh, but of course, the city's grown up around it and it gets frequently mentioned as one of the most desirable high schools here in the Charlotte area. When you look at it a map, it's right on Highway 51 which it looks a little underwhelming here on the map, but it's a major corridor uh, that connects Matthews, Mint Hill, down to Pineville, connects into other roads that run more north-south towards downtown. And you can see here on the aerial, it's right down the road from Providence Road. It's right down the road from uh, the what's called the Arboretum Shopping Center, where there's a Walmart, there's a uh, I believe it's a Harris Teeter. There's a bookstore down there. There's a Chick-fil-A. There's great subdivisions around it. It's relatively still affordable. It's got some great apartments around it as well. It is a highly, highly desirable area to be in if you want to try to be in the Matthews area. Next up, number four on our list with a 9 out of 10 uh, rating on great schools is Ardrey Kell. Now, this is outside the Beltline and a little bit further south into an area that you, if you're doing your research on Charlotte, you're going to hear a lot about. It's called Ballantyne. A number of years ago, that was just an open field, and then they came in and they developed the whole thing up into one of the more desirable areas of the entire Charlotte community. Uh, Ardrey Kell has made a reputation for itself as a great high school and again it comes up in the conversation of people who are interested in great high schools so very very desirable good connectivity especially over to 485 but because you're outside that belt line it is going to lengthen your trip up into Charlotte if that's where you're heading for your job uh, just a little bit further away but it's a great area when you look at the aerial photograph you can see you're right down the road from um, shopping center you're surrounded with really desirable neighborhoods there's a shopping center in the other direction there's a big huge YMCA right up the road from you really really desirable area and that's part of the reason that the high school is so highly rated all right so last but not least and kind of a surprise to me personally that this ranked five on my list with an eight out of ten score on great schools it is Myers Park High School now Myers Park it consistently will come up in the list of the most desirable high schools in our entire area. And I'm honestly shocked it's not number one. That's how uh, much it comes up. It is located uh, much closer to the center city, much closer to uptown in an area we would call South Park. Uh, South Park has uh, perhaps the most upscale communities and perhaps the most upscale shopping of the entire Charlotte area in it's it's a really really good high school and I'm surprised that it's ranked 8 out of 10 personally and I don't know why as you can see here on the aerial photograph it is much more urban surrounded by subdivisions there are some apartments out there but you can see there's a golf course right next to it there's some shopping across the road park road runs north and south leads you straight into uptown um, and then right there at the south part of this map is, is south park that is a, a big shopping center with our apple store and nordstrom's and things like that around it a really really desirable area and a fantastic high school now that being said i'd like to say that if you look on great schools this is not a complete list i only picked the top five as it gave it to me. There are three more that are uh, high schools in our area that are listed as 8 out of 10 or above, but I'm not covering all of them. I wanted to draw the line at number 5. So I hope this helps. I hope it gives you a little bit of ideas, a um, little bit of research. Feel free to reach out or leave me a comment below. If you have any questions, like I said at the intro, if you have any questions for me or I can help at all, please reach out right now. Give me a call, give me a text, send me an email, whatever it happens to be. But reach out to me, introduce yourself, let me know how I can be of service to you. I will not give you specific which high school should I be in? I will not tell you that, but I will help point you in the right direction and look at resources where you can make an informed decision for yourself.